One of the people who returned to Waffle House this morning was a witness and friend to one of the victims. News Channel 5's Matthew Torres says today has been a crucial step in moving forward. Matthew. Vicki, that's right. We first spoke to Chuck Cordero the morning of the shooting. He arrived at the restaurant to speak with his friend, but it was so busy he decided to wait outside. It was a decision that likely saved his life. Well, this morning, he couldn't stay away from that very same place as it reopened. It's very sad. They were all young. I can't believe how young these people were. They will forever serve as a haunting and tragic reminder. Four crosses for the four lives lost at this Waffle House. And these are the kind of people you wanted in this world moving forward. Chuck Cordero is friends with one of them, 29-year-old Tareen Sanderlin, who was an employee at the restaurant. Cordero was there to say hello to his friend, who became well known with his regulars. This lunatic in a pickup pulled up. We interviewed Cordero after the shooting, composed but hurting inside. He hid behind his car when gunshots erupted. Three days since the vicious attack, he decided to come back. I'll be back. I'll be back tonight. I'll keep coming back as much as I wanted to stay away. I was cruising by here at one o'clock this morning to see if there was any sign of them opening and around five, the restaurant opened its doors just for him. Coffee in hand, employees back at work. It's nice to see them getting back to, to how it was before this all happened. The focus today has been on moving past the nightmare. Cordero doesn't want to talk about what he's going through. He knows the pain is worse for many others. And you know, I don't even want to go into it because it's, it's a fraction. It's, it's not even comparing to what these other families are going through. So my pain, psh, it's, it's not even it doesn't even show on the meter compared to what these families are going through. A public viewing for his friend Torian Sanderlin is scheduled this Friday. His memorial service is Saturday.